Hello, everyone. My, my name is Mitchell Francis, and I am a mergers and acquisitions associate at Constellation Software. My day-to-day -day role is typically um, just keeping in touch with and maintaining relationships with business owners of software companies. Constellation Software is a serial acquirer of, cons of vertical market software businesses around the globe. It's a publicly traded company um, that is very involved and very focused on mergers and acquisitions. It grows sort of 20 to 30% year over year and has for the last decade. And how they've been able to maintain that growth is, is through acquisition. And so my role is, is to keep in touch with business owners and even if they're not for sale, um, to sort of make sure that we're in the in the in the running or at least in the know for that when things change and business owners are looking to make an exit or sell the business that they know of Constellation, they've heard of us before, we have a relationship and sort of we're top of mind when when they do consider a potential exit. And so my day to day is simply just meeting with business owners on an annual basis to get an update on their business, provide an update on our business, and and really just keep that relationship um, sort of tight and. Um, and keep in touch and stay top of mind. So the the first question I was asked is, what was life like before you joined Student Works? And I joined Student Works back in 2014 in my first year of university, uh, straight out of my first year of university. And before that, I had previously ran a landscaping company in high school. I was really just a, a regular first year student uh, with with an interest in entrepreneurship as I had run that that landscaping business. It was it was not a, a large business whatsoever. It was me and my buddies that, that got together and sort of um, just just did a couple of lawns around our neighborhood and, and tried to make a little bit a bit of money. And um, and so yeah, I had an interest in entrepreneurship. I was just a regular first year student with no real discipline or focus, just having a good time. It's your first year of university and. Um, and, and so the the next question that that I was asked is sort of what before you applied, what were your reservations around student works? And I would say that I, i'm a, I'm a little bit atypical as as I didn't have as many reservations as sort of the, the people I was going through that process with did. Um, but the the first thing that obviously comes up is is the amount of work. They're very sort of upfront about the amount of work that it does take. They say eighty to ninety hours. Um, and, and so that that can be very daunting. Uh, you you want to understand sort of is, does that mean that I'm dedicating my entire life to this? Does that mean that I have to give up all of my weekends? Um, which is a big shock to a first year university student that's that's just living life and, and having a good time. Um, and then and then my next reservation would be sort of how would it affect my schooling, right? Because that is my that was my main focus at the time was to get through school and, and to get where I wanted to go in life um, needed me to be successful in school, and and so I. They they do stress that that you are going to be working through that 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 winter semester, excuse me. Um, and, and so I did have some reservations around how that would that would affect my schooling. Uh, and I'll get into that a little bit later about how that that did end up happening, and not not necessarily how that ended up happening or how how I was able to overcome that challenge or that reservation. And then other than that, I was I was really up to the the challenge. Um, the I, I was as I mentioned, I was part of a landscape. I started my own landscaping company. I was very interested in entrepreneurship and and continue and interested in scaling companies and, and taking them to the next level. The the only the last reservation I did have, however, was the opportunity cost. I was in, I was doing my bachelor's of business administration at Laurier at the time, and there was an opportunity cost to taking this job. I could easily get a nine to five job in, in finance or wherever I was interested in at the time or, or sales. Um, and so there was that opportunity cost that you have when you join, when you join student works painting to not pursue that other role that you would have taken. And so yeah, I was a little bit hesitant to, to not have that traditional nine to five on my resume for when I go up for say co-op in second year. Um, and then the, what was interesting about sort of how I came over, how I overcame these these reservations was just going through the program. The the amount of work, um, I'll, I'll dive into a little bit later. But you learn to prioritize. You learn to sort of do what you can to to meet your goals. You prioritize. You set goals. You set plans of how to reach those goals. And and really, the the amount of work comes from the amount of it, it comes from your prioritization and how you schedule out your day. And if you are diligent in how you're prioritizing your work, you're able to complete all that work and you're able to do more than you ever thought you would be able to. Um, and then how it, how it affected school, that's hand in hand with what I had just gone over, is that if you're able to prioritize and properly plan out your days, you're able to handle a lot more than you are than you think. Excuse me. And then 
the opportunity cost uh, in terms of working a traditional nine to five, how I overcame that reservation is I'll, I'll get into it. I'm, I'm not going to go over that at this point. And, um, and so what did you learn while working at student works? The, the main thing for me, as I mentioned at the beginning, which I didn't have, which I did learn through student works is discipline being, making sure that you're waking up early, making sure that you're being on time and making sure that you do what you say. These are things that I didn't really live by. It, it, it wasn't a big deal for me in university. You're, you're waking up at 1 PM. You're, you're, you're barely doing the, you're doing the bare minimum. Well, at least I was, I, I can't speak for other people, but I, I was doing the bare minimum in first year. I was, I was a new university student that was having a good time. And, and while I did have an interest in business and I took school very seriously, that was only a small percentage of your time. And, and so what it did teach me was discipline and being and, and realizing sort of if you do what you say and you're on time and you do these sorts of things, you're able to gain people's trust and, and people confide in you. And that opens up a lot of doors, which you really don't know of or even see worth exploring at the time. And, and I guess the second one would be how to prioritize work. I did mention this in the beginning um, to say it's a lot of work. You're, you still have school. You, you still want to be able to be successful in running your business. And so you need to learn how to prioritize. You need to, and, and the big thing for me and the big learning that happened in prioritizing my work was I realized how much time I was spending on things that were unproductive. An hour of Netflix seems like nothing. It, it seems it, it's, it's one episode. Why, why would you not watch the next one? But it, one hour of working out seems extremely daunting. So when you come to that realization of how you're prioritizing your life, things do change and you're able to realize that you are able to spend a lot more time doing productive things that actually make you happier in the long run while in the short term may seem like a sacrifice. And then the, the last one, which not a lot of people think of is the value of a strong network. It's, it's well known that you're likely to become very similar to the five people you spend most time with. And that's very true. Um, in, in university, I was very similar to the people that I had spent the most time with. And when I came into student works painting, I was sort of provided this, this network of people that were doing the same thing as me. You're, it's, it's a franchise company, as you guys know. So there are many people doing the exact same thing as you that you, are, that you want to be the best and, and you want to sort of strive for greatness. And, and you're around people that also want to strive for greatness and make it to the next level. And, and having the value of a strong network is, is just, there's, you can't put a price tag on that because it provides you with, the, with additional motivation. It provides you with additional sort of comfort, not, not so much comfort, but the ability to have people to lean on and, and in hard times and, and to people that to celebrate the good times with. Um, and, and so the, the, the next question that, that I was asked of is sort of, can you name three places in your life where participating in student works has, has helped and, or benefited you? And three is definitely not enough, but the, the top ones I would say are first things first in my everyday. Um, in terms of prioritizing my day, having the discipline to do what I want to do and to reach my goals. And so the, the one hour of Netflix was replaced by one hour of working out, which in the long, which seemed like a sacrifice in the short term, but in the long run pays dividends. And in, in my relationships, just in my everyday, making sure that you're showing up on time and you're present and, and you value your time with people because you don't have that much time when you're running a business and you're working 80 hours, you really do value that time with your friends and your family and, and just being present and, and really val just have, placing an enormous amount of value on the time that you have with the people that you love that you otherwise would just not think of. Um, and then the, the second big one, I would say, is in my schooling. Um, which most people don't think about, and how did work help school? Well, it was in, if you can sense a theme here, was in the sort of discipline and, and the time management skills that you gain through student works. Obviously, there's, an, there's a ton of work to be done, and you need to properly have the discipline and the time management skills to accomplish everything that you want to. And that's the same for school. Schools can seem daunting to some people, whereas if you break it down into small manageable bites and you, and you properly manage your time, you're able to do things that you otherwise would not think were possible. And, and the last one, which is very interesting and very close to my heart, is getting a job. That's probably where it actually helped me the most. So my, my career path, what, I'm still young. I'm, I'm very, um, <laughs> I'm, I'm new to the workforce still. So I, I don't want to come across as preachy or anything. But the, what, what was very interesting about me and my career path was I, after student works painting, I did student works painting for my first and second year of university. And in my third year, I decided to join a startup software company 
that was selling um, influencer marketing software to brands and agencies. And so I started off as a as a BDR there, so a business development rep. And I was very successful in getting new opportunities and, and closing deals that I was promoted to be the, the sales manager after a year and two months there. And that was in my fourth year of university. And, in, and as a sales manager, I was overseeing other business development reps and, and their daily activities and sort of managing the, the sales funnel and really building that, that sales engine. And so it seemed like I had a great, uh, a great amount of experience coming out of university. And when I went up for, to apply for a job and when I was sitting in the interview with Constellation, talking about my experience, we didn't spend a whole lot of time talking about my sales management and my base and my BDR role um, within that startup software company. We spent, I would say, 90% of my time talking about student works painting and the amount of drive and initiative and, and time management skills that you have to have while doing these sorts of things. And, and it really shows potential em- employers that you have that drive and initiative to sort of take it to the next level and and be the best person that you can be where it, it it was so interesting. When I when I got hired, my boss right now said, I did not hire you because of your experience at the software company. I hired you because you showed the drive and the initiative at Student Works Painting that I want you to bring to this workforce. And that speaks volumes. Um, that it, back to my original point where I was extremely reserved about having not getting not being able to get a nine to five or not having a nine to five in my first year summer. That actually paid dividends for me to do student works because that that's actually what set me apart from the people that did the nine to fives, which was super interesting to me. And in the and, and lastly is what would you tell your best friend, sort of little brother, kids, if they were thinking about applying to student works? This is very close to my heart because I tell anybody that I know that's in business in sort of their first or second year to explore the opportunity to do something like this, to do a student works painting, um, because it just, it really throws you into it. It says, you have a business to run, go out and source new opportunities, go out and find a team to work it. And, and really it's all on you. You, you own something for the first time, for the first time for many people in their life, you, you own something, it's your baby and, and you want to make the best out of what you have. And so I, especially for people that are in business, not, not only people that are in business, but it's especially helpful for people that are in business to be, be able to practice the theories that you learn about in school. It's not only the theories anymore. You're actually talking to real people. You're applying real negotiation skills. It's it's really the, it takes what you've learned in school and applies it in real life, which you really can't do in first and second year university if you're going to get an entry level job. So that's that's super interesting to me. And that's, and that's what I tell every, I actually tell everybody that is considering a, a business career that in first and second year university, you should consider an opportunity like this because it will really set you apart from the competition. It'll teach you a lot about yourself as well as what you're, it'll teach you mostly about what you're, what you feel confident in, where it'll help you understand sort of where your weaknesses are, where you can improve. And it's just an overall very good program that helps you learn about yourself, learn about what you can do. And it's a great opportunity to network with people that are like-minded and, and want to be the best people that they can be and be the best um, sort of salesperson or whatever career path you go down to, to be the best person that you can be. And that's, that's what I really want to leave off on is I, I'm extremely proud of my time at Student Works Painting. I, give, I, I try to give back any time that I can because I absolutely love the program. I love what, the, what they're doing there. And the more people that know about it, the better because it, it's, it's helping a lot of kids that don't really know what's going on, don't know what their future is. And it, it is applicable to so many industries. And it's really just, they're teaching you basic life skills that can help you throughout, the, throughout your entire life.